My name is William Justice. I started this YouTube channel to learn about filmmaking, video editing, and how to create interesting effects. My goal is to create videos as I learn, to get better with each one, and have a bit of fun. And hopefully you'll learn a few things as well. Today I'm going to show you how to set text to a path and animate it using DaVinci Resolve and Fusion. I also wanted to experiment with texts and paths to see what kind of interesting animations we can create. No one wants to read paragraphs of text, but a few simple text animations can greatly enhance your videos. You can use the text path option to set text on an outline, and then spice it up with a bit of animation. Add motion to static shots. Animated text can be used to introduce topics and highlight specific areas of your videos. If you like my videos and are interested in learning more about filmmaking and DaVinci Resolve, subscribe to follow my progress. Also, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I would really love to hear from you. I appreciate everyone's feedback and support on my channel. With a few settings in DaVinci Resolve Fusion, we can easily create some really interesting text animations. Let's get into Resolve and see how it works. Okay, let's get started. Um, actually, setting this up is really, really simple. It only takes a few steps. So the first thing we need to do is to get into Fusion. To, so we'll right click in the media pool area, say new Fusion composition, and we'll set it to, uh, see, we should go 15 seconds, doesn't really matter, just depends on what you're trying to do. Hit create, and we'll bring that into the timeline. Then we'll click Fusion at the bottom of the screen to get into Fusion. So first thing we're gonna do is add a background. So we'll take a background node and drag that on and connect it up to the media out. And let's just go ahead and set that as a gradient. So we'll do a, a vertical gradient. The top color we'll pick, um, let's do a blue. And the bottom we'll just do a little darker blue. Let's space that out. Let's add a text node. So we can take the text node and drag that into the node area. And to merge it on top of the background, all we have to do is take the output of the text node and drag it onto the output of the background and the text is merged on top. So let's go ahead and set our, set our text. Call it animated text. Um, you can type in and make it whatever you want. Okay, setting this on a path is super, super easy. All you need to do is click this layout icon in the inspector area when the text node is selected. And the type of layout you wanna choose path. Now all you need to do is draw the points for your path. So we will click one down here in the display and then click another one up there and we have text that's on the path like that. Now something you want to be aware of is that you usually want to start from the left going to the right. Um, if you do it the other way you'll actually get text that is upside down. Let me show you that. If I started on the right and went to the left you'll notice that the text is upside down. So we'll just go back um, animating it is super, super easy. All we need to do is change this position on path property. And that's going to set where it is. So we can keyframe that. So let's go to the very first frame and put it at the beginning. Go to the first frame, put it right there, hit the keyframe option. We'll go out about, uh, say, 100 frames and drag it over there. And we have the text that's animating along that path, just like that. Now all the other text properties apply. You can change the font, styling, size, um, character spacing, this tracking here. You can really do anything that you want. Now to make it to make it curve and move change the path, we can just use the path tools up in the tool area here. So for example, if we we'll click this icon right here to insert and modify, and we can grab these handles and move them around. Just like that and the text is gonna follow the path that we created. We can add more points, just like that, and flip, flip these handles around and really do just whatever we want. And that's the basics of it. So what you're basically doing is you're setting the path right here and then using the position on path to animate it. Next, we're gonna do the text that goes um, following the path on the road. So let's delete the text we created for, for right there. And we have a photo of this road here and we're gonna drag that into the merge and put it right on top of everything. 
and we're gonna first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna size that up a bit so we'll go into this merge and boost the size and we'll shift it up a bit so that we can see the all the road that'll do it pretty much there now let's add in our text so we're going to take the text node here and drag that in we'll set the text to text on path and we're going to connect the output of the text that we just added to the output of the merge and that's going to merge it right on top and we have our text on a path so we're going to do the same thing we did before with the text node highlighted we're going to go to the layout area and we're going to draw a path right along that road so let's say type is path and then we just start making our path here I'm trying to follow the little yellow line that goes right down the middle of the road there Now you notice that all those are straight lines. So what we can do is click this option up here to select all the points and then hit this curve to smooth all the points out. And we have the text going right along that path right there. Now you, we can play with some of these points if they're not exactly where we want them. You can adjust, use the handles to adjust it and uh, kind of fine tune it as you need. Okay, so you'll notice as we move this text around that you can kind of see it as it's going off the road this way it kind of goes off the road like that so what we can do is we can use a mask to clip it off and have the text kind of fade out when it's going off the road so with the text node selected we're going to hit the polygon option and we're just going to draw click points around here right there where it's going to cut off the road and then we'll close it up so you can see that the text is only going to be visible when it's on the road part and to make it a little bit better, we can go to the, with the polygon selected, soften up the edge a little bit so it can, it'll kind of, kind of bleed out and blend out a little bit. Now let's select our text node and we'll go, we're going to animate our position on the path. So it's going to start right there. We'll go to our first frame, hit the keyframe for position on path, and we'll go over like a, say 120 frames and drop, go all the way off the path there. So this is kind of what the animation looks like right now. So I think, um, let's see, I think I want to speed that up a little bit. So let's go to the, the spline editor and do that a little bit. So we're going to choose our position on path and hit the zoom option. I'm going to select these points and hit the, uh, we'll hit this box off shape box. And then I'm just going to drag this in. So it's going to go a little bit faster for this animation. Speed it up just a touch. Okay, that's pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to um, select these two points right here and hit the curve option to smooth it out. And I want this to go really, really fast in the beginning and end and kind of slow down as it's going around the curve. So we're going to do these so that it comes straight up. This is going to go fast. It's going to slow down in the middle and then speed up toward the end. It's a little bit too fast. So let's slow down a bit. Just kind of have to play with this until it looks right. That'll probably be good enough just to kind of give you an idea. It slows down and then it's going to speed up. And one more thing that I did to kind of help it blend in a little bit better. You'll notice that um, it's kind of going over those trees right there. Now, obviously you could mask that out, but um, a simple thing that I did was, uh, let's get this spline off of here, go to the merge. I just changed the apply mode to overlay. And now you can see that uh, when it's going through the trees, it kind of blends in a little bit more. It kind of looks like it might be going under the trees. The last thing I want to show you is how I did the uh, text to bounce between my hands. In that one, we basically need to animate the path a little bit. So um, let me drag this clip down there. And we'll say new fusion composition, right click on it, new fusion composition, and let's get into fusion. This one just takes a little bit of kind of keyframing to have the path follow the hand. So let's go to the very beginning. We'll drag in a text node and merge it in with the media one. And we can call it uh, animation. 
And this one I actually went in and uh, added a little border around it because it, the text was kind of hard to see there. You can do really any kind of text option you want. So we'll click um, select element two, click the border, and we'll have the border color be black. Select outside only, and we'll kind of boost up the, uh, the border there a little bit, the thickness. Okay, back on text. Um, you, this one you want to make sure you have the first frame selected because that's where you're going to start with your path. We'll click the layout option and choose the type of path. And now we just need to make our path. So we're gonna, I'm going to connect it up between my hands here. And all I did is I just went over a few frames and kept moving these points to kind of be kind of in the center where my hand was. You can kind of fine tune this as much as you want. I'm going to just kind of do it roughly here. Now I'm not doing any of the curves on this one. So that takes a little bit more. Um, I'll show you that in just a second. Go here. Okay, that'll kind of give you the idea. So you'll see that kind of as I play this, the kind of animation, the text is kind of tracking between my hands like that. Um, I didn't do that last one right there. And you notice is every time I'm making changes to the path, it's creating it's creating keyframes. Okay, that's a rough, rough idea. Now to get the text to, to bounce back and forth, we did the we just animate the position on the path, go to the very first frame and have the text go kind of into my hand and set a keyframe. And this is just basically how fast you want it to bounce. So we'll go over about, uh, say, 10 frames, and we'll drag it all the way, position on path, over to my other hand, and we got a keyframe there. So you notice it kind of, it'll go like that and sticks. So what we need to do is get that to repeat. The easy way to do that, an easy way to do that is to open up the spline editor, choose position on path, and we'll select all the points and you just highlight these two points. We can click that to smooth them out. And the option down here is, um, it's called set ping pong. And this is gonna basically have it bounce back and forth. So you see when we zoom out, the uh, it just kind of is gonna, animation is gonna keep repeating. So now when we see it, it's gonna be bouncing back and forth. And then that's where I stopped keyframe right there. Now, if, if you wanted this to follow a path, you would select these and grab this point and you could bend it around and it's gonna follow that path there. Now, so you can we can take it and bend it however we want. If you like my videos and are interested in learning more about filmmaking and DaVinci Resolve, subscribe to follow my progress. Also, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I would really love to hear from you. I appreciate everyone's feedback and support on my channel.